Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna try to make a Reader's Digest version on how to find oil leaks underneath an engine. If you got the famous dripping stains on your driveway and you just can't find where the oil leak is, like those right there, uh, I'm gonna show you the way I do it anyway. I'm not, I'm sure there's a million ways to do this, but the way I do it is foamy engine cleaner, right? Take this stuff and soak the whole bottom of the engine the whole thing then you want to spray it with clean water okay now the my trick here is to have the clean water pooled up like you can see here on my driveway where the the surface is freshly kind of washed off right so there's no fresh stain everything's kind of sitting there then what you do I don't know if you can see this on the camera but you see on the ground really the two main spots I'm looking at here where it's mainly here and there's some here and there's a little bit right here. But what I've done is I've lifted the engine up to try to get it level with the incline of my, of my driveway. So whatever's dripping can fall straight down and not at an angle where it can hit something and then drip. I have a little LED flashlight here and all you gotta do is just trace back up where, it, where it's coming from. So in this engine's case, let me go to wide, go to wide angle here. On this engine's case, if you look, where the drip is here on the ground and look straight up you could see right there engine oil coming out of here see it right there on my finger so if we look even farther you see kind of the run because there's water there the actual oil will start to accumulate and push itself together to make it darker than the water. So if you trace it back up there, you can see that it's leaking from that front, that little front seal. These things always leak there. So uh, what you're gonna basically do now is pull that seal out and replace it. Take, gotta take the crank pulley off. But that's where that's kind of coming from. So that's the best way I can describe how to trace a leak is to get it wet, uh, degreased and then wet, and then the oil, will find the path of least resistance and accumulate. So you can kind of see the trail that it creates. Now, the other little spot here, see that we're totally far away from this main one. The other spot, if we look straight up, is right here. You can see that, see that oil line? Not the main radiator hose, but the oil line right there where that clamp is, if I touch it, See how it's dark on my finger and it's not doesn't look like water? That's the transmission, um, not the transmission, that's an oil, the oil runs through the radiator on these engines and it cools the oil, oil cooler. So that little hose right there at the point of contact at the radiator is also leaking. So that's an easy fix, that's a, that's a quick hose. But yeah guys, that's, that's how to find an oil leak underneath your engine without making yourself crazy you definitely need to degrease it first i also sometimes i did use some of this which is just basically the foamy stuff that's in a spray and just you know real just get real creative with it crazy with it and just spray the crap out of it and don't breathe it in and let it soak and then rinse it off and that's how you find an oil leak now it obviously goes without saying that oil is going to find gravity so or the leak's gonna find gravity. So if you're, you know, you're still concerned that you can't find it, start looking up through and seeing, you know, the, the start from the highest point down and see where the oil's coming from. But in my case, it's that little crank, a little crank seal. They go out all the time, they make a groove, they get worn out and they leak. So common crap on these engines. So yeah, now I know where to fix. Also gonna do the pan gasket because I've been saying forever, I thought it was the pan gasket, but my little leak test, you can see that it's coming from higher than the, uh, the gasket flange itself. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. Please like, and I'll get you in the next one. Later.